All right, so we've got a juicy topic today. I've got some really great notes and some really great tidbits to let you guys know. So let's hop to it. So today we are going to talk about the infamous six figures. So as you guys join me, I am drinking water. Let me know in the comments what you are drinking. I dare not drink anything stronger than water, given the fact that I am out of my element this week and last week. I've got one more week before I go uh, back to my home studio, so I will uh, be in good spirits uh, for sure by then. So what I want you to do in the comments is let me know, hopefully can you guys see me because this light is sort of like shining right in my eye. T. There we go. That's a little bit better. Hopefully that light is... Uh, be blind by the end of this live okay so um t all right who else what else are you guys drinking i am drinking agua not dare not drink anything stronger coffee awesome all right and while you guys are telling me what you uh, like to drink what i'd like to do is ask you a couple of questions and let me know in the comments if this sounds like you or yes you feel like this you want to make a hundred thousand dollars Right, and we're just going to start on the low end of six figures, right? Because, you know, six figures is 100K or 999K, right? So, you know, we're going to just start on 100K. So, what do you think you need to make 100K? Either reply, uh, you know, yes, you think this is true, or no, you don't think this is true. You need more clients, number one. Do you think it is that you need more clients in order for you to hit 100K in your travel business? Let me know. One, if you think that's true, or zero, if you don't think that's true. Do you need more clients in your travel business? <laughs> Thank you, ladies. I love you, too. And so what I will tell you is I miss my home studio, so I've said that several times. Yes. All right. So someone says yes. We've got ones and we've got yeses. All right. Number two. Do you think you need to book more trips? Do you think it's just a trip situation? You need more trips in your travel business. And that is what's gonna get you to the six figures. Whatever that may be, it could be 100K is your six figure mark, it could be 500K, whatever that is. Do you think you need more trips? Or do you think you need more clients? Do you just need more trips? You need to offer more trips. So that's what I mean by the more trips thing. You need to offer more trips. Or number three, you need to offer more marketing. You need to do more marketing. So my questions if you're just joining is to make 100K or six figures in your travel business, do you need to one, get more clients, two, get more trips, book more trips, three, do more marketing. Kim Stewart says that you need to do all of the above or for all of the above. What do you think you need in your travel business to get to six figures? All right. So I love the answers that you guys are giving me. The reality is, is what I want you to be thinking about as we go through this uh, today's lesson is what's missing out of your formula to create your six figure dream, whatever that may be. Now, it could be that you are wishing for 100K in gross sales, 100K in revenue, uh, you know, net sales, whatever that is. What I want you to be thinking through this entire session is what's missing in your formula to get to 100K. So before we go on, I'd like to introduce myself. My name is Sunday Gardner, the online travel boss, and I come to you every single week talking everything, launching, operating, and the mindset of a successful and profitable travel business. I am, as you know, out of my element. I am in Georgia. I am sequestered in my cousin's room as I come to you guys live. For many of you know, I'm looking uh, to relocate out here. So I've been looking for the last several months and I think we may have found a location that's going to work. So I'm super excited. This will be, I've got one more week out here and then I'm going back home and then we start to uh, start the, the, the great journey of migration to the great state of Georgia. So excited and thanks for all those people who've been cheering me along the way. So 
We are going to talk about what it takes for you to go from zero to 100K in your travel business, right? And, you know, I pick 100K and it's really six figures, right? Because everyone I talk to says, I want to make six figures. I either want to make six figures in my personal, you know, in my, in my job, or I want to make it in my business, right? And so that's sort of the, um, the go-to number when people talk about, their success, right? I'm making six figures. So whatever that looks like to you, we're going to talk about what I believe to be the formula for you to be able to successfully do that. Are you guys excited about that? Are you all wanting to make six figures in your travel business? Let me know in the comments because you know, I love this to be super interactive. So if you are new to me and this is your first time live, I want to say thank you. I'm super excited to have you here. Like I mentioned before, I do come every week live at this time to talk to you about all sorts of topics. And so today we're going to talk about the illustrious six figures and how to get there. All right, we got some yeses and yes. So if you missed last week's live, we talked about $5,000 in commission. And I want to touch on last, last week's live because it's sort of a precursor to this week. So last week, what we talked about was the magic 5K. So if you're new to the travel business, you'll hear people talk about, oh, I just need to get $5,000 in sales before I get that golden IATA card, right? I qualified to get that golden IATA card. And if you don't know what the IATA card is, it's sort of the gold stamp in uh, the travel business that sort of lets you know and everyone when you hold that card that you were the bomb.com when it comes to selling travel and that you're serious about your business. I sort of call it, I call CLIA the driver's license of uh, the travel industry. If you have a CLIA card, Pretty much any supplier will give you a discount as a travel professional. But if you have your IATA card, it's sort of like having your like graduate degree in the travel business. Does that make sense? And so we talked all last week about what it takes for you to get to 5K in commissions or whatever you want in the commission sales, right? Whatever that number. So this week is really talking about the next gold standard, which is six figures, because everybody wants to hit six figures, right? And it's, it's amazing. Like you put something out in the universe and the universe always, I, I am a firm believer that you put it out and the universe like gives it back to you. So I've been planning this topic and in my inbox, I'm going to have to post it and do a post about it in my inbox today. One of my clients, she posts her sales and she's at 102 K, uh, 102 K, uh, gross sales, uh, already for the year. And I was just like, perfect timing. That's exactly what we're talking about, right? So she, she, she texted me and she says, hey, you know, I had a goal of doing this by June 30th and already mid-month I've hit it. And I'm just so super excited for you. And I know you're on and so I'm not gonna call you out, but I just am super excited for you. And I'm so glad that you hit your goal. And so we're gonna talk about how you in your travel business can do that very same thing. So I put it out there. We're going to talk about 100K. One of my clients tells me she hits 100K in gross sales uh, already for the year, and now she's got to up her goals. So let's do. Let's talk about what that looks like in your travel business. All right. So I am a note taker. So I've got my little handy little uh, notebook. And when I'm at home, I usually write out my notes on a piece of paper and then I stick it in my notebook. So I brought the notebook with me so that I wouldn't have to try and find loose leaf paper while I'm here. All right. So here is my first thing that I want to talk to you about your road to 100K or, you know, how do you go from zero to 100K in your travel business? The first thing is, is I want to know and I want you guys to be responding when I talk to you about this is what are you selling? Simply, what are you selling? Are you selling individual trips? Are you selling group trips? Are you selling, you know, special curated group trips that you're going to create? Are you trying to hit six figures with service sales? What are you selling? So tell me in the comments, what are you guys selling? Are you, what are you actively selling or do you even have a plan? So what I mean that is, is are you just selling or do you really have a strategy on what you will sell to get to your goal, right? So we've already identified the one, which is what is your goal? Your goal is to hit six figures. I'm going to assume that it's 100K, but what are you selling to get there? What is your money maker service and or product? All right. Benita says it's destination uh, weddings. That's awesome. 
Moy, hopefully I spelled your name, I said your name, Misty, I said she specializes in cruise and group travel. Okay, what else are you selling? So I assume, you know, that still doesn't tell me, are you selling, are you selling packages, wedding destination packages, or are you just selling to the bride, are you trying to get the whole bride out of there, are you doing group trips, right? All right, somebody says that they're uh, selling at river cruises, right? So, okay, again, are you selling fit? Are you selling, okay, so you told me a type of travel, but you still haven't told me what you're selling, right? So specifically, are you trying to sell fits? Are you creating group packages? Are you looking for group leaders? What are you going to be selling in the genre of travel that you want to specialize? Mara is honest and says she has no plan. And that's okay, but that's the first step, right? My, literally, it's step number two. Because the first step I say is set a goal, right? We're assuming your goal is six figures. We're assuming that goal is 100K, right? So then the second step is going to be what are you going to sell to get there, right? And I'm going to tell you the formula by, by God better be travel commission plus service revenue, right? You guys, nobody said service revenue is part of their magic formula. So your formula for 100K in terms of the what that you are selling needs to be commission plus service revenue. I want somebody to write that down. Commission plus service revenue. You don't have much control over your commission except for by se selection of your supplier. So if you understand your supplier numbers and who you work with, you can increase your commission right over time. But initially when you start in this business, if you pick, let's say, I'm gonna, since there's so many people saying cruises, I'm gonna say, if you decide you want to sell groups in cruises, it's going to most likely be 16% in any one of the major carriers, right? And that's if you're with the host agency that has a uh, pretty much standard and they do pretty standard volume, 16%. Carnival, uh, Royal, Norwegian, pretty much as average is gonna be 16%. You're gonna split that with your host agency and you may get a blended rate that goes directly to you between 10 and 12% depending on what your host agency split is, right? So if you're selling cruises, right, 16%. Now river cruises, depending on the vendor, it may be 10%, 12%, 15, 20, right? All these river cruise um, uh, providers have different variety, but normally in the cruise industry, it's about 16 uh, split, right? You don't really get to control that unless you've been doing this for some time and that you can then negotiate a higher rate because of the fact that you've been selling exclusively to them, right? So you don't really get to control commission rate initially when you start, but you get to control your service revenue, right? So that's why I say when you put together your goal and I ask you what you're selling, it better be commission plus revenue. You get to control how much service revenue you charge in the form of initial bookings, designing, right? And any other fees that you put on for changes or anything else, right? So somebody writes what is service revenue. So let me just break that down really quick, right? In the travel industry, historically, you people would call a travel agent and the travel agent makes their money through a commission fee with the supplier. So I book with Carnival, Carnival pays me a percentage, 10%, uh, 15%. Like I said, it's normally 16% with the host agency that has high volume. They usually are at 16% and you get a commission for that, right? So it's a thousand dollars. Let's say a thousand dollars is commissionable. You're going to get six. Uh, let's make that just even, right? I don't know. 16 times a thousand is what? 160, 1600. I don't know, am I doing that math right? I think I'm doing that math right. Just carry the zero. So $1,600 you get in commission if you had uh, probably 160 if it's $1,000. So anyway, do the math. So 16 times 1,000, that's how much you get in commission. Service revenue is, is if you come to me and you want me to design you a trip right? I'm going to charge you $150 for that, right? You want to go to Aruba with you and your boo, your bae, your whoever, and you want to go there for me to give you a quote, I'm going to charge you $150 for that. That's going to include three quotes. That's going to include, you know, whatever it may include, right? So that's on the front end. And then service revenue can also include like, um, if you have people who, you know, normally when I do trips, 
if it's a group trip I don't include air so people may want to do air with me they want me to book their air I will charge a, a service fee for booking air right on top of that so service revenue is your company's charges for different services that you perform in your travel business right so that could be i call it your designing fee on the front end it could be cancellations you know how much you charge for cancellations how much you charge for air how much you charge for whatever you want to include and that could be a myriad of things right uh that could come up in terms of that right you need to have a plan for the a change fee right so I painstakingly give you my quote and then you uh, I make you check and dot all the I's and the T's you know cross the T's dot the I's and then you you don't recognize that your name is misspelled right and you want to change that right well I got to call the supplier change your name you missed it I know, I mean, I don't, I, did, I thought I, I caught it, but I didn't catch it, and you missed it. I've got to call the supplier, and I've got to get that changed, right? That usually comes with some sort of change fee, particularly after booking, right? So I, I go through like two or three review rounds. We go through that, you sign off on it, and you still missed it. There's a change fee for that, right? So that's what service revenue is. You can call, I call it a design fee. Misty, you can call it a research fee. I don't really care what you call it. But there is a fee for, uh, I, I call, like I said, I call it a design fee. Um, but yes, you can charge your research fee. So number one is what are you selling? Are you selling fit? Are you selling group? And then where, you know, what your specialty is. So you guys are used to me saying, what is your niche? You guys threw out all these niches, but then you didn't tell me what is it that you're selling in the niche, right? Because when it comes to your money maker, and the reason I call it a money maker is because that's what you're focused on. Now you may get custom requests outside of your money maker and that's fine. But in terms of marketing and everything that you do is around some central selling theme, right? Somebody said destination weddings, right? You know, for a destination wedding, you know, my 100K may be really around the service fee that I do for destination weddings. Does that make sense, right? So my clients are charging anywhere from $500 to $750, upwards of $1,000 just to do design of their destination weddings. This does not include the commission for booking the destination wedding. This is just for the quoting and the designing of it, right? You want me to give you three options for your amazing destination wedding? That's what it is, right? So you could potentially you know, the majority of your revenue could be uh, around service revenue and then commission on revenue on the back end. So hopefully that makes sense, right? Your formula for number one needs to be commission plus service revenue. And then you need to determine what your core offer, your money maker is, and that's what your focus should be on. Everything else is going to be icing to your cake throughout the year. Does that make sense? Hopefully let me know in the comments if that makes sense. So somebody said admin fee. Again, I don't care what you guys call this thing in terms of services, but I want you to think about the fact that you are a service provider, right? The commission that we get from our suppliers is icing to our cake, right? That's the relationship that I have with the supplier. That has nothing to do with the work that I do directly with my client, right? So I want to be compensated and I want you to be compensated for the work that you do directly with your client, i.e. service revenue. So, you know, I, I will get off my soapbox because often when I talk about this, many people, it's new to them. And I have a mantra to educate as many travel professionals to charge for their services and ensure that they do not let that go by. That is not something we should be giving away for free. I really don't care what's happened over the last 10 years. We're in 2021 and right now you are a professional service provider and you should charge accordingly. All right, so number one is what is it that you are gonna be selling? Number two, you guys ready for number two? Is who are you gonna sell to? Now this should be obvious. You're gonna say, well, Sunday, duh, I'm selling to people who want to buy travel. Yeah, no, you're selling to strangers or existing. Like who are you trying to sell to? People that are new to you, right? That you need to develop an audience, a, a relationship or existing clients, right? How many of you have a way to attract strangers into your business? If you do type a one, if you don't type a zero, right? So I'm gonna breathe just a second. 
right? So let me know in the comments, how many of you have a way to talk to strangers? Do you have a way to get strangers into your business on a consistent basis? Right? Zero. So we got some zeros that are coming up. Zero. And that's okay, right? So if you don't have a way to get strangers, who are you selling to? If you want to make six figures in your business, who are you going to sell to? Do you have enough? Do, do you know enough people right now that you can make six figures off of? Do you have enough family and friends that you can make six figures off of? Juanita says, yes, yeah, she's number one. So she has a way to get strangers into her business. So that's awesome, right? Most people don't have enough existing clientele, right, that they can make six figures from. Most of you guys are new in the business and you don't have a way to do that, right? So when I say, who are you selling to, you're going to tell me I'm selling to strangers. But here's the problem with that. You can't directly start selling your packages to strangers. So you, some of you told me in the comments that you're selling packages, you want to do group trips, right? And so this is what happens when you start your travel business is you, you get a business page, right? Because many of you are on Facebook, many of you are on, on Instagram, right? And then you start putting up your $3,000 packages or worse, you're putting up three $500 packages and making pennies on the dollar in commission, right? And you're trying to sell directly to strangers and you don't even know who these people are. They don't know who you are and you're not seeing success. And that's because you really don't have a process by which to sell based on the type of person that you're meeting, right? So I'm gonna simply tell you my process is this. So the formula for number two is an ARC process, which stands for attract, relate, and convert. And so what you want is a way to attract strangers, build a relationship with them, and then ultimately convert. You never wanna start in a new relationship trying to sell directly to a stranger. So if you know that you need strangers in your travel business for you to hit six figures, then what does that mean? You need a way to attract them. You need a way to relate to them, build a relationship with them so that you ultimately can sell your money makers to them. Does that make sense, right? So you can type that in the comments. It's ARC, that stands for attract, relate, and convert, right? So. I need strangers. I don't have an, I don't, I don't know enough people in my warm market. And so warm would be people that I know, my friends and family. None of my friends are family. I mean, I have a couple of, I, I think my, I think my cousin, no, my aunt, my aunt's a travel agent, right? But she doesn't need my coaching, right? I don't have enough stranger. I mean, I don't have enough friends and family for me to make six figures. And certainly not consistently, right? So I've got to consistently have a way to attract strangers, relate to them, and then sell to them. Same thing for you, right? So you need a process by which you can do that regularly. So you need to know who you're selling to. Now, let's say you don't want to forget about your existing clients, right? So here's the thing that we do in business oftentimes is, is that we get a process to attract strangers and then we forget about our existing clients. Right. So not only do you want to be selling and developing relationships, you want to also create a way to offer and promote to your existing clients. Right. So you don't want to forget them. Right. But then you also got to consistently do strangers. So hopefully that makes sense. Arc is how is the formula for your number two is attract, relate and convert. You can attract strangers. You can relate to strangers. You can relate to your existing warm audience. Right and convert, right? So off, give them something for which that they are buying, your existing clients and then the people that you ultimately develop uh, uh, develop relationships with. So your strangers, you wanna give them some reason to buy. All right, number three, are you guys, are you guys enjoying this? Is this helping you guys? Let me know in the comments. Like, I do love hearts. So if you wanna push some hearts, you can do that because I love that. There's some new people saying hello. So hello to you all and make sure I'm not missing any comments. All right, so number three is how will you sell it? How will you sell your money maker? Right? So now you've got in your number one, you know what you're selling, right? Number two, you know who you're selling to, right? You're selling to strangers, you've got an existing client base that you're trying to get promotions out to. How will you sell it to them? 
what are you going to use to sell? I literally met somebody and I'm going to, I'm pausing for a second because I was on the phone with somebody this week and I asked that question to her. I said, okay, how are you marketing your business? And she said, I'm going to create brochures and I'm going to hand them out. And I'm like, but it's COVID. Like who the hell's handing out brochures? You know, people will tell me that they're going to do business cards. And I'm like, who are you giving out business cards to? I'm not meeting anybody. I'm stuck in my room. <laughs> like, I'm not going out and meeting strangers. I I don't want to touch anybody. I don't want to be around anybody, right? I mean, I got my shot, but I'm not going out to conferences like that. Like, are you guys, are you like going around like major crowds to be handing out business cards? I'm not. So I need a way to be able to sell my stuff and sell my wares. You know, I feel like an old person, sell my wares in a way that's safe, right? And that's going to get me in front of volume. And it's certainly not in person, right? I can't meet enough people on a daily basis to hit the numbers that I want. So I've got to find out another way to do that. So the way that I do it is online, right? 99% of you guys have an online business and that's the way that you want to do. But then you tell me these non-online ways to get clients, right? Don't get me wrong. And don't come sliding in my inbox and tell me that, you know, well, it's still effective. Yes, business cards are effective. Digital brochures are effective. Yes, that's true. But the reality is, is that I can get in front of thousands of people sitting in front of my, in my room right now than I can going to a conference and hoping that the thousand people that are in a conference that I'm going to hand my brochure out to are my ideal client, right? I can microscopically select who I want inside of this Facebook group through Facebook ads. Can you? Right, so how I sell is through online. I am an online business and I sell online. I attract online. Don't get me wrong, in person is great and when things open back up and I start networking again, I'll start handing out business cards but in the interim, my business is not dead because I can't go to an in-person event, right? And I don't have an in-person way to connect to people, right? So the method by which I sell is through my six-figure Facebook group. What is your method? What will be your method? So when I have our clients, what we teach our clients is through their six-figure group, right? Is that we teach you how to build a group around your niche and sell inside of your Facebook group of people that love you, right? That you are developing relationships inside of your group that love you. All of, the, all of my students who have Facebook groups that have built using the formula that I've taught them have created a community of people that love them. And then what do I always tell you guys? So if you're new to me, you don't know what I tell you, but this is what I tell you. People, people buy from people they know, like, and trust. And you guys have heard that all over the internet streets, right? KLT, right? Know, like, and trust, right? So what better way to sell your fit, your customized trips, your group trips, your uh, custom trips, your trips to group leaders inside of a group that you've created, that you manage, that has attracted the people that you want inside of it, that you're developing relationships. What better place to sell it than inside of your group, right? That's what we do. So where you sell is important. Many of you have been taught that you need to join other people's group to sell, right? You don't control, you don't control the narrative there. You don't control the messaging. You don't control even if you can post there and you don't even control how the audience gets uh, selected, right? Every person that is in my group somehow is connected to the travel agency, the uh, travel, uh, travel industry. I've got suppliers in this group. I've got people who want to launch a travel business, who have already launched a travel business. I got people who are recruiting, who are associate, who want to get people, more people in the travel business, right? But I have found people who are my niche and they're in my group. I somebody posted that they want to they specialize in wedding destinations, right? So the per, like I have a I have clients who specialize in wedding destinations and inside of their group, who do you think is in their group? Inside of their group are people who are about to get married, who want to get married in an unusual way or in a non-traditional way, right? They're about to get married either in 6, 12, 18 months out, right? We can microscopically find them through Facebook ads. So number three is really about identification of how you will sell to your people, right? 
So any questions on that one? Sometimes that may be a little bit. So somebody wrote Facebook and Instagram. Okay, that's great. But how are you going to do that? Are you going to run ads? Are you going to do it organically? Are you going to run promotions? Are you going to, like, what are you going to do in that space, right? Are you just going to post randomly and hope that you see? Now, for those who are new to Facebook or posting on Facebook and tell me Facebook sucks, right? That's because you're not using it right. If you want to play on Facebook, you got to pay, period. End of story. There's no getting around that. That's the way Zuckerberg has it. And I'm going to tell you that every single time I talk about Facebook. You want to play on his platform, you have to pay. You have to pay for boosting to get seen. You have to pay for ads to find your people. You have to pay. That's it. But the beauty about paying is if you do it right, every dollar that you spend, you're going to get back. Right? If you know what you're doing when it comes to Facebook ads, every dollar that you spend, you're going to get back. Right? And if you've got great ROI, you're going to get not only $1 back, you're going to get $2 back, $3 back, $4 back if you know your numbers. Right? And that's what we teach inside of Travel Passions to Profits. All right? So number four and the very last thing before I skid out a lot of here is, you know, I've given you some very tactical things about how to get to 100K, right? You know, understand what it is that you want to sell, understand how you're going to sell and who you're going to sell to, right? Those are tactical things. Those are, you know, step-by-step -step things, right? You you can identify your audience, you can identify your money maker, you can get in front of them, right? And you can get all of the leads that you want, you get all the people coming to you, but if you have a jacked up mindset around your ability to do it, you're never going to do it. Right. So number four is about your mindset. Right. Right here. So I haven't talked about these girls in a minute. And let me just tell you what I mean by that. Right. If you've never achieved a hundred thousand dollars in your business and I'm not even talking about your business. Let's say you work for someone and you've never even made a hundred K. It may be difficult for you to get your arms around the fact that that's possible, right? So let's say you've been making $50,000 and making $75,000, $80,000. That's a huge jump, right? I remember when I was at the 50K mark, uh, when I was in my career, and you know, going from you know 30 to 50 was a jump. You know, going from 50 to 75 was a jump. And then when I crossed over six figures, I was like, oh shit. I was like, first of all, I didn't think I could do it, right? I didn't think I could do it until I achieved a couple of things. Like I was like, I need to go get certified. I need to become a certified project manager. I need to do this. I got to switch jobs, right? But you know, really in the back of my mind, I always knew I could do it, right? I always knew in my mind that I could make six figures. But if you doubt that you can do it, you're never going to do it. If you tell me in words or in language that you can't do it, you're never going to do it, right? But you always have to have in your mind this belief, regardless of you knowing how that it can be right and that sheer uh <laughs> you know and i'm so not a mindset coach right but i will tell you that like that sheer will of of bringing it to fruition in my mind is what got me to making six figures in my professional career before i became an entrepreneur like i knew that i knew that i knew that i was going to make it and i set an action plan in place right same thing for my my tra my travel business, my coaching business. It's like, you know, it doesn't matter how much I fail, I know that I'm going to do that. Not only am I going to make six figures, but I'm going to make six figures a month, right? That's my current goal. It's not six figures a year, it's six figures a month, right? I know that I can do it. And so my mind is all around that and all of the actions that we take in our business is around that and rallied around that. So my mindset regardless if I've ever done it before, like it's scary as shit to think, oh my God, I want to make six figures a month, not a year, right? I've already done the year. I want to make it a month. Can I do it? I'm like, I've never done it. But you know what? I surround myself around people who have done it, right? I see it as reinforcement in my daily life because I surround myself around people who have already achieved what it is that I achieve. So even if my little mind can't get around it, all I do is see it. So if you're around people who are not making six figures, who are not achieving what you want to achieve, change your surroundings, number one right? Because your mind isn't going to be able to do it for you. Change your surroundings. Change what you listen to. Change what you read, right? 
get yourself in the mindset of achieving and being in the space that you want to be. And I can tell you from from my own personal experience, that is what has helped me achieve the things that I achieve. Not because I'm I'm super woman. I super I'm a super woman in the things that I'm super woman in, but the things that I want to achieve that I've never achieved it's not because of me, it's because of who I surround myself and this undying belief that I continue to pour into myself that it will be achieved hook or by crook. And I don't mean that by legal hook or by crook, but literally I will achieve what I want because I know that I can and I'm setting in motion those things and everything that's around me tells me that it's achievable because I surround myself. I don't hang out with people who are making 100K a year. I hang out with people and people pour into me. I invest in coaching with people who are making 100K plus a month. Does that make sense? Like, do you get that? Like from a mindset? So it's not Sunday's mindset. Like, like, oh, Sunday knows how to do that. I've had to invest to get there. I've had to pour into myself to get there. Other people pour into me, right? That is how I achieve it. So it doesn't matter tactically because shit's going to throw you off your game, right? Marketing's not going to go right, right when, when uh, like, like if you advertise during the month of November, you and, and you use November as a gauge for success, you would have dropped out because November was shit for marketing in Facebook, right? During during the elections, it was horrible. Like, you know, costs for ads were outrageous. They were ridiculous. So if you did that in that month and you use that as your gauge of success, you would have dropped out and been like, bought that, I can't do that, right? But I, we, all of us who pushed through November and we said, you know what? This is just food, this is just food for, you know, this is just part of the process. And we pushed forward, right? We got rewarded with a great January. January had the cheapest ads of the whole year, it was amazing, right? So my point is, is that you want something, create a tactical plan to do that, and then the last thing is make sure that you work on your mind to ensure that you reinforce the message that you are working towards, all right? So that's all I got for you today. Um, so you guys, are you guys happy? You guys think it's good? What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments, right? So some people are saying good stuff, that's great. I'm glad that you enjoyed it. You know what, I'm gonna be back here next week, next Wednesday, talking all things launching, operating, and having a profitable and successful travel business. My name is Sunday Gardner, and it has been a pleasure coming to you guys live again, and I'll see you next week. If you like this episode, then share it. Sharing is caring, and don't keep it to yourself. Spread the word. Another way to support this channel is to hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, or leave us a message. Join us inside of our free Facebook group, The Travel Boss Group. Better yet, if you think you need help, schedule your free travel business launch diagnostic call. Links are mentioned below. This has been Sunday Gardner, your online travel boss. See you again on the next episode of Online Travel Boss TV.